Hello dear students of Third Prep Science, let's go to start our episode today as we have to complete the first lesson as we talk about here the speed. As we have to know the types of speed, as we have two types of speed, uniform and non-uniform speed, as we see here on the monitor, زي ما نشوف مع بعض types of speed. يلا نبدأ مع بعض اللسن بتاعنا. أول حاجة بيقول لي types of speed. We have two types. Number one is uniform speed and number two is non-uniform speed. Uniform speed which means سرعة منتظمة or constant speed. We can see, we can say constant speed instead of uniform speed or regular speed okay and we have on the other side here we have non-uniform speed or irregular speed so if you want to uh, define here a uniform speed so we should know we have two factors affecting speed we have what and what we have distance and we have time so if you want to uh, define speed here we have to know as you see the man should do him about what body covered body covered our object that covers equal distances at equal periods of time Tenny object that covers equal distances at, at equal periods of time يعني بيمشي مسافات متساوية في أزمنة متساوية and we can illustrate or represent the relation between distance and time in this graph or by using graph as uh, on the right side زي ما احنا شايفين كده على يمنا distance and time graph graph of distance and time so we talk about speed but here we talk about uniform speed as we have زي ما احنا هنشوف دلوقتي قدامنا مع بعض هنا عندنا distance and time يعني واحد للdistance وهنا التاني هيبقى للtime مش distance و time and we have uniform speed because the body covered equal distances at equal periods of time Okay, dear students, let's go to take a little break, then will we return back? Welcome back, dear students. Let's go to complete our lesson today as we have to talk about the side or the other side. We have the non-uniform speed or irregular speed. As we see here, زي ما نشوف مع بعض, we have uh, uniform, on the, لو سمحتوا هنا ممكن, uniform speed and non-uniform speed. طبعا on the uniform speed, object that covers equal distances at or in equal periods of time. And we can represent the relation between distance and time in this graph by using a straight line passes through the origin point. So if we have give reason for, we can answer by using the definition. And go with definition. I will give reason for the uh, uniform speed graph is represented by straight line passes through the origin point or because the body covers equal distances at equal periods of time. The second type here we have non-uniform speed or irregular speed non-uniform speed or irregular speed in this case we have the opposite definition as we should know is uh, definition in objects that covers what unequal distances in equal periods of time again in this case the object covers what هيمشي ازاي او covers what هقول له covers unequal distances at او in equal periods of time or the opposite ممكن اقولها بطريقة تانية how come هقول له equal distances at what unequal periods of time we can use one of them is equal and the other is unequal periods of time okay now we can differentiate between speed as uniform and the non-uniform speed so so here we have a give reason for it is hard to measure a regular or uniform speed practically how to measure a regular or uniform speed practically so here why our look because or due to the traffic motion or the traffic conditions we can't move with what 
regular speed ما نقدرش نمشي نمشي ب regular speed practically عمليا يعني due to traffic motion next point in our lesson we have here average speed we use average speed to measure the speed of body or object move with non-uniform speed in this case we use average speed average speed which means what here we have average speed total distances our total distance covered over divided by the total time taken so we have to calculate here and accept total distances covered by the object divided by total time taken how come is they نقدر نحسبها if the object as you see here هنشوف كده مع بعض moves from point A for example to point B covers 30 meters in two seconds then from point B to point C in this direction in this case or in this uh, time covers 20 meters in one second so the object in this case covered unequal distances and unequal periods of time so how can we calculate the speed of this object is then other nasibha so we use in this case average speed as v dash average speed total distances covered over total time taken to cover this distance so here we have td over tt which means total distance over total time so we have 30 plus 20 over 2 plus 1 so we have 50 over 3 in this case about we have measuring unit here is meter and the measuring unit of time here is second so the uh, total or the uh, result and you have about يعني, 13.3 meter per second because we use here this measuring unit to calculate the average speed or any type of speed so now نقدر, uh, to know the mathematical uh, law from the definition as we have total distance covered over total time taken to cover this distance by using what by using average speed or v dash okay we have here a problem a body covers 20 meter northward we should know the directions here northward then 20 meters northward then uh, through three seconds then covered 40 meters eastward within 20 or oh, two seconds then covered 20 meters southward within four seconds then covered how many 10 meters eastward with five seconds calculate its average speed how can we calculate the average speed body covers 20 meters northward a 20 meters northward shamalan zamul in how many in uh, in thir uh, three seconds okay then 40 meters eastward sharqan two seconds then 20 meters southward ganuban 20 meters in four seconds then covered 10 meters what westward يعني غربا رجع تاني in five seconds so how can we calculate in this case the average speed as we have total distance covered v dash over total time taken so we have how many distances here we have one two three four twenty plus forty plus twenty plus ten over what three plus two plus four plus five so we can calculate the average speed as 20 plus 40 equals 60 plus 
20 equal 80 plus 10 equal 90. يبقى distance يبقى v dash equal 90 over what? 3 plus 2 equal 5. 5 plus 4 equal 9 and 9 plus 5 equal 14. So we can use calculator here. 90 over 14. 90 over 14 equal how many? Equal 6.4. 6.4 meter per second. So now we can use the total distance over total time taken to cover this distance to measure the average speed. Here we have, as we have this problem, 40 meter, 3 seconds, then 40 uh, meters, 2 seconds, and so on. Then we have, dear students, relative speed. Or my speed to our relative to your speed. Here we have to know how can we define the relative speed as speed of an object relative to another object. We have to define the relative speed as speed of an object relative to another object. Aho. Moving object relative to the observer or another object. Observer here, which means the other object. So, if the two objects in the same direction, when the, the objects move in the same direction, in this case, we subtract the two uh, speeds from each other. Yani relative speed of car, in, of car A to car B. Again, and all keda, relative speed of car A. Relative to car B. In this case, we subtract uh, because they are in the same direction. V A minus V B. Yani, aho. V A minus V B. Yiba 40 minus 30 equal 10 meter per second. The speed of A relative to speed of B. Okay? Yani, so right A binisba li B. If they are in the same direction, relative speed of car B to car A, we use what? V B minus V A. So V B equal how many? 30 meter per second. V A equal 40 meter per second. So we have 30 minus 40 equal negative 10 meter per second. So we talk about relative speed again. We talk about relative speed. Speed of an object relative to another. If they are in the same direction, لهم في نفس ال direction أو الاتجاه, we subtract. What from what? اللي هتلبو الأول. يعني relative speed of A to B. So we have 40 speed of A minus 30 meter per second speed of B. So we have 10 meter per second, as you see. If we have relative speed of B. To A, so we use VB minus VA. If they are in the same direction, but if the objects in the opposite direction, لو هما في opposite direction يعني عكس بعض. We have here VA 50 meter per second, زي ما احنا شايفين قدامنا, and VB 80 meter per second. So the relative speed in this case equal what? Submission. Hagmahum. Because they are in the opposite, in the what? In the opposite direction. So VA plus VB. So huh? 50 plus 80 equal 130 meter per second. If we want to calculate what? Relative speed of car B relative to car A, we have B. VB plus VA. Taban, 80 plus 50 equal 130 meter per second. We have no problem if the two objects move in the same, uh, in the opposite direction. Oh. We sum our summation of uh, VA plus VB. 1 plus 2 as 2 plus 1. But if the two objects in the opposite direction, we should calculate V as a request. V Muhammad relative to V Omar. V Muhammad minus V Omar. 
طب في عمر ريليتيف تو في محمد او سبيد اوف عمر ريليتيف تو سبيد اوف محمد يبقى في عمر ماينس في محمد بيكوز دي ار ان ذا سيم دايركشن اف وي هاف اوبوزيت دايركشن وي ميك او يوز ذا سمشن اوف ذا تو سبيدز توجذر اوكي طيب تيست يور سيلف بيكوز وي فينيش فيرست ليسن احنا خلصنا الحمد لله فيرست ليسن از وي هاف عندنا اول كويستشن بيقول Write the scientific term. The distance that a moving object cover within a time unit. We have here distance and we have time. So we talk about speed. Next question is, a moving object covers equal distances at equal periods of time. So we have equal distances and equal periods of time. So we talk about speed, but what speed here? We talk about regular or uniform or constant speed constant speed okay by the way if we have to uh, represent the non-uniform speed by using graph so any graph of speed we have two axes as we have number one axis of distance and axis of time In this case, we have non-uniform speed. Non-uniform speed. In this case, the body covered unequal distances at equal periods of time or vice versa. Unequal distances at equal periods of time. So, we can draw this graph as a curved line because we talk about non-uniform speed. Speed, why? Because we have distance and time. But the uh, uh, type of this speed is non-uniform because the object covers unequal distances at equal periods of time or vice versa. Next question is scientific term. We have the object or the total distance that a uh, moving object covers divided by the total time taken to cover this distance. We have total distance covered over total time taken so we have average speed next question the value of the object speed relative to the observer uh, the value of relative speed to the object uh, to the observer so we have to say here relative speed relative speed because the relative speed is the speed of an object relative to another object or relative to the observer okay uh, next one what is meant by each of the following question number one be only average speed average speed of a moving car 70 kilometer per hour 70 كيلو متر بير اور طب اعملها ازاي اقول له وي توك يعني وي شود ديفاين افريج سبيد افريج سبيد ويتش مينز توتال ديستانس كفرد كام ايكوال هاو ماني وي هاف يس وي هاف 70 كيلو مترز Okay. Over total time taken equal what? Time is how many is hour? Yeah, one hour. Okay. Uh, so, dear students, uh, time is finished today, and. Uh, Next episode, inshallah, we will uh, talk about the graphical representation of speed, time, and acceleration. So uh, we have to finish this episode. Thank you. See you and good.